Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So this is my review for True Detective Season 4, Episode 1. So spoiler warning for True Detective Season 4, Episode 1. If you have not seen the episode, go watch it and then come back. And yeah, so um, True Detective Season 4 just came out a few days ago. I got a chance to watch the show. And before I start, I do want to say that I have not seen the other seasons of True Detective. I know everyone says it's so great. I mean, people pretty much universally don't like the second season. But I know the first and third seasons are, you know, everybody loves them pretty much. And I have seen the first episode of Season 1 and I really enjoyed it. I just have not... Got, ended up going back to it not because I didn't want to it's just I just I guess I just didn't you know and I I do eventually want to but um yeah so but because it's like an anthology series and each season is surrounding different characters I you know obviously am able to jump into season four without any prior knowledge of the other seasons or what I think and um so I did that because I really love Jodie Foster I saw the trailers I was looking for a new show to watch week to week and, you know, it's HBO, so I have faith that it will be good. And the early reviews are pretty good. So, yeah, I hopped into the first episode, and i got to say, I loved it. I think this is going to be such an awesome show to watch week to week. And I think that the conversation around it is going to build every week, and it's going to be really good. It's so good to finally have, like, a good mystery back on TV, you know? It's been a while since we've had, like, a good mystery show to really chew on each week. And um, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. But, yeah. Um, this season stars Callie Reese and Jodie Foster as Officer Danvers and Officer Navarro. Um, they are basically, this is basically set in an Alaskan town. I think it's Alaska, right? Set in a town that is, this is a real thing where it goes into nighttime for 30 days because the sun, like the rotation of the sun sort of doesn't line up with the, with, um, with the, you know, placement of this town. I think that's like the scientific explanation of it. I don't really know. But um, yeah, they're plunged into a 30 day night basically. And that's when this series takes place. And I know there have been a lot of films, older films in particular that have come out um, that actually also took place in this 30 day night setting in this specific town. So that's really cool. And also I'm loving, so far, one of the things that I love the most about the first episode is the snow setting. I love it. It's such, it has such a creepy aesthetic to it. I really, I love the, the whole snow, snow setting. And I love the... Um, like it's based, it sort of reminds me of The Thing, you know, John Carpenter's The Thing, how it's based around like a research center in, um, in, uh, like a snowy environment. I'm not sure exactly where The Thing takes place, like maybe Antarctica or Alaska, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, that's on the surface, obviously, the similarities, but I'm sure there are similarities meant deeper underneath the surface. But anyway, going into the actual episode... I really, really loved it. I really found myself very engrossed in these characters and their backgrounds and their stories. Kelly Reese, she's not typically an actress. She's a boxer, but she's really talented. She is doing such a great job here. She's such a, like a physical force and it's really, really interesting to watch. I really love, she's very magnetic on the screen. Um, her scenes are very, she's a very like tense actress, but she does it really, really well and I really love it. Um, Jodie Foster, I recently watched her in Nyad just a couple days ago and I loved that film. And so I'm really like on a Jodie Foster train right now and um, I, 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 I loved her in this. I thought she was so good. She's so likable to watch. Um, also, John Hawks is in this, who was in 2011's Mar Martha Marcy May Marlene, directed by Sean Durkin, who recently directed The Iron Claw. So there's another little connection I didn't know about. Also, Fiona Shaw is in this, which I didn't know about either until I watched the show and saw the opening credits with... Which, by the way, I love the opening credits. I love the way they are... Um, they have the Billie Eilish song, Bury a Friend, to them. I, I love that. I thought it was really good. It's a really good song. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm really interested in the mystery that's being presented I like the dynamic of how Navarro and Danvers used to be partners, but then this case happened where there was a girl that was murdered pretty brutally, and um, Navarro just got way too attached to it, and that sort of broke them up as partners, because clearly they did something, and I think it's going to be related to Fiona Shaw's husband, uh, ex-husband, or, you know, dead husband, Travis, his name was. Um, yeah, I think that something happened with him and Navarro and Danvers. I think maybe they, Navarro killed him or something. I don't know. But I like how they're connecting the mystery to like an older case that happened that's sort of similar where the tongue was ripped out. Um, so I'm very excited to see where that goes. Also, this definitely has a supernatural element. I got to say that opening in the research station, by the way, was incredible and so creepy. And just when that guy says she's out. Like, what the fuck? Is, there's definitely a supernatural element. I mean, there has to be. Like, something was going on with that guy. Something unhumanly. Like, he was shaking. Like, he was seizing. 
you know, and then he just stopped, and there's something going on. And also Fiona Shaw obviously sees her dead ex-husband and he points her toward the bodies of the missing researchers, which is, there's something supernatural going on. I'm very excited to dig into it. It's going to be so creepy. And yeah, I'm going to be reviewing the show every week. I can't wait for next episode. Um, make sure you like and subscribe so that way you don't miss when I upload my next reviews for this show. Come along on the journey as I watch this show. Very excited to dig into it. Um, anyway, that's it for my review. Thank you guys for watching it. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the episode. Did you watch it? Did you not? What are your thoughts overall on the True Detective series? Have you seen the other seasons or are you like me and this is your first time watching True Detective? Let me know. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure you turn on post notifications as well. I forgot to mention that way you don't miss when I upload new videos because I'll be reviewing the show every episode. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.